St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is a teacher at St. Michael's College School, Brazilian Father Bill May. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Renfrew, Ontario. This Mass is offered in thanksgiving and for a special intention. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Yes. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us present ourselves as we are, wounded in need of healing, weak in need of strength, joyful in this Christmas time. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O powerful Father, you have made known the birth of the Savior by the light of a star. May he continue to guide us with his light, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of John. My beloved people, who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive human testimony, and the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He grants peace within your borders. He fills you with the finest of wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He 
declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his ordinances. Pray. Jesus preached the good news of the kingdom and healed all who were sick. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and Jesus ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest, and as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now, more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him, and be cured of their diseases, but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. My brothers and sisters, for our salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Praise 